Hi everyone, I'm JD. Welcome back to my channel. Well, I'm super excited because I had my first go of making embellished envelopes. Yay! Um, I've done them with these napkins, just straight napkins, but I've always wanted to embellish them and I'll, I'll share that a bit later. But first I'll give you a little update of where I've got up, gotten up to with the Blue Butterfly Challenge entry, entries. Um, just trying to use up all the napkins first and making some napkin envelopes. And here's a look at the designs I have got so far. They're so pretty. Look at them all. <laughs> And you guys sent so many napkins in, it was brilliant. I mean, you guys didn't just give me an entry for the challenge with a blue butterfly, but you sent all these other amazing goodies and I am going to have fun going by category through them all and making up these envelope packs as well with these napkin envelopes. So as mentioned in that other video showing how I was making these, um, yeah, these will all be, anything that comes in for this will be donations towards the publishing of the mental health art book. So here we go, <laughs> getting there. There's small envelopes, larger envelopes. There's a cute one with the daisies and the script writing. And that's the last. And then I also made some of the smaller ones up. These are the handmade envelopes out of book pages from one of the books that came in through the challenge. Look at this. So I think this is the one. No, which one? This is the one that is going in my personal journal or maybe both. I don't know. <laughs> and I wanted to keep Willow written on there because Willow, you know, Willow bound journals. So pretty. These napkins are just absolutely gorgeous. So there were two of these. Um, here's another design. I combined two napkins with this one because I thought if I put just that solid pattern it would be a bit too much. So I really like that combination. Alright, and then I loved this napkin so much that I saved the other napkin for my embellished envelopes. Look at these! <laughs> okay, so basically I just tore the napkin and I stuck them down, I'm going to glue that down a bit better later on, like this. So it's kind of collaged onto the envelope. Oh, these are coffee dyed envelopes too, by the way. Um, so it gives it that vintage look. And then I got the script stamp, which was sent from Jo, or Geo, in this challenge entry as well. Or, well, she sent it along with a challenge entry. entry. And then this, these were from, I believe, Sue Freeman, which I was so glad about because I need these little die cuts to just add the extra touches and finishing touches for embellishing. I inked around the edges and it's like a nameplate or something. So I was thinking of writing dream or hope or wish or journal or journey or something on there. And I did that for each of them, but all different layouts. So these the last three are... Um, larger envelopes. I just look at it. So pretty. I thought maybe you could journal on that part too if you wanted so you could put a title there and then put your journaling there on the actual envelope itself. And then this one here. Oh basically yeah I covered up any of the writing that was on the envelope. These are just those return reply envelopes that are already paid so you can kind of see it through the napkin which I quite like delivery address and you place your stamp here and this is the address so I just covered that up with one of the die cut pieces this one I covered up with the napkin that one I covered up the words here with a die cut piece so yeah all different looks to them but they're a set a little envelope set so here's the last one so pretty. So I might add some more things, maybe a bit of bling, maybe a bit of lace somewhere, a bit of fabric, I don't know. Um, or maybe for my first lot of these, I might just keep it as is, because I really like it and I don't want to ruin it either. Uh, but these were inspired by Charlotte Peterson, I think that's her name. <laughs> Sorry, I just coughed there. 
um, and she makes the most beautiful envelope sets. I'm really hoping she does more. I would love to buy a set from her that is blue <laughs> with pretty napkins. Uh, and yeah, I was so inspired and her embellished envelopes are kind of like Liz's uh, altered, altered file folders. Both those projects are things that I'm working my way up towards slowly and when, when I feel more com com confident in my skills, uh, that's when I will attempt them. And so finally I've attempted my very first embellished envelopes and I absolutely adore how they look. I, I feel like I want to hoard these forever. <laughs> but what I did was I scanned them and printed them out so that this will help me let go of them <laughs> and put them in journals or maybe just keep it as a little set. Um, and that way I have them always on file, a memory of them, and I can cut these out and use them as journal cards. How cool is that? That is so fun. And what I was thinking is, this, I printed it out big because you could print it out just the full size get one of your envelopes and just stick it on the front and it's like a faux embellished envelope. How cool is that? Um, so I will make these this digital set of envelopes available on the freebie database that I have for patrons only. So I've got them at different sizes, the full size and then some smaller ones if you want to have little smaller journal cards. Um, well, no, actually, that's how I've just printed it out. Uh, when you get the digitals, you'll get the actual image itself. So you can size it however you want in Word. That's what I use, Word, or whatever program you have. Uh, but basically, when you drag it in to Word, that it comes up the full size, and then I just size them smaller to get the other sizes. So I thought that would be a fun freebie for you guys, for you patrons. Um, so every month there is one freebie, a set of freebies and I will try to release those every 1st of July so these are probably or a 1st of July <laughs> every 1st of the month it's the 1st of July right now so I'm not sure when I'll put this video up I've got a backlog of videos so these will probably already be up as the freebie um, so every 1st of the month I'm gonna look at putting a digital set up for the freebie database on my patreon and if I get any others, I'll just scatter them throughout the month as well. But definitely for you patrons, for what you can expect, every first of the month, I will provide you with a set of freebies. So I really hope you like these. Um, I love the fact that you can print them out at different sizes and use them in different ways. And I just really, really adore them. And will have fun using these in my own journal. Journals. <laughs> Journaling. <laughs> So let me know what you think because um, I, I just loved it. And give it a try yourself. I may maybe do like a little tutorial or process video of me making some more of these. Definitely want to make more. I've saved some other napkins, the prettiest ones that I love the most, um, to make some more embellished envelopes as well. I just got to coffee dye some more envelopes first. <laughs> and then, yeah, I will also link below Charlotte Peterson, her embellished envelopes. Um, she's got quite a few videos. I'll just choose one, what my favourite one maybe. Um, and you check it out too. She has a tutorial on it as well. And she does much more extravagant things on hers like um, snippets and um, embossing and that kind of stuff. So hers are absolutely stunning. I am slowly working my way up to that hopefully. <laughs> so yeah, uh, just wanted to share that little project with you and I will continue I've still got lots of napkins left over so I will continue making more um, more of these and once they're all made that's when I'll turn them into packs and put them up in my Etsy for you guys um, and I'll save some though make sure to save some that I will put in the journals the blue butterfly journals as well so yeah hi Keanu how are you Bubby? you want to say hello before I say goodbye <laughs> hello honey Look how tall he is. He's always touching the camera. There he is. Hello. <laughs> okay, good boy, Keanu. Very good boy. All right, guys, I'll see you later in the next video. <laughs> Keanu wants to give you a hug. <laughs> okay, guys. <laughs> Bye.